everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have the best WWE Elite Customs of 2019 that not only have I personally made myself, but I have had help from other customizers, I've bought from other customizers, and just overall, yeah, 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 you know. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, I have them all lined up here. I am going to tell you there are some missing. These are not all of the customs I've made. I just went with the best ones I've made, and there's actually a couple missing and uh, I, I will tell you a lot of the Finn Balors are missing. I just didn't want to have 30 Finn Balors in the video just for the sake of putting them in the video if, you know, they had some unfinished things. There is one of them that is unfinished, but again, I didn't want to just fill up the video just for the sake of it. I wanted to, you know, I wanted it to earn it, man. These customs have to earn it. They have to be in. Why is the exposure so damn high? Like, what is, what is this? What is that? It's just so freaking, I don't know. Anyways, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, I left out some Finn Balor's, you guys will notice that, but there's also a couple other customs that I left out, and I want you guys to comment down below and see if you guys can figure it out and why it was left out. I don't know, just, just some things I'm thinking about. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into it because we did put in a lot of work this year as far as customs. I plan on 2020 getting some more customs done and getting a lot of more things done and, and, and get to things done, to done, done. Said done like 30 months the second times. Pete Dunn. Why did I say that? Why is the expo... Like, look how bright it is. That's a lot better. When I put my hand up, it fixes it. Anyways, let's just get into it, guys. I honestly, I, I did not want to include this Fiend figure because I feel like it could be so much better and everything like that, but you know what? We're going to include it for the sake of including it. It is the Fiend. You know, we still have a little bit until the Mattel one comes out, and I'm not sure when that'll be, but we do have the, all the decals. The head cast is obviously from BEW and Mad Reaper. They did a good job of uh, creating casting and getting that out to the public so that is very wicked. I used a rhino torso. I used some sting legs. A little bit different formula than everybody else used. I think I used Bray Wyatt's crotch and uh, some sting boots. And my boy Rodney made the hands for me and they are chipping because I'm an idiot. But this is pretty much just a placeholder until we get another one. So uh, this Fiend Custom will obviously be either redone to much better quality and look a whole lot better or I will obviously just replace it with the Mattel one. Next up guys, it's probably my favorite custom of the year not including George Washington. I, I don't I don't know if George Washington was made this year. I couldn't remember if he was or not, so that is why he's not in this video. That is one of the customs that is missing. However, that's not the one I was referring to when I said for you guys to take a guess. So, uh, looking at it here, guys, this is a Luchasaurus. He's probably one of my favorite talents in all of AEW. If you guys don't know who Luchasaurus is, he's a freaking baller. Just look him up. He's a beast, and you can't have Luchasaurus without his tag team partner, Jungle Boy. So, we have Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus that look absolutely amazing. This head, uh, this head cast, this head sculpt was made by BEW, and the rest was made by me. We used a Jimmy Uso head sculpt. He did all the, you know, the mask and everything. It was a commissioned head sculpt. I knew he could bring it to life. I said, you know what? I think this Jimmy Uso head skin would work, and I think it looks perfection. One thing I will say is it may could be a little bit taller, but I don't think it's that bad. Like, I think he should probably be up here, possibly even here, but you know what? I'm not I'm not going to deduct that many points from it. We used the Bobby Roode torso. You got all the good paint details. You got all the gold. You got his little apron deal going on here. All the tattoos are on decals from Curb Stomp, and and it's just an epic piece, man. I am really proud of the way this came out, and it was a combination effort by me and BEW. And of course, here's Jungle Boy, which is another head sculpt done by BEW. Brown boots and all that. Very simple stuff going on with him. Next, guys, we do have my Kane figure that's pretty much like a fix-up, but I think it's a custom because we did, you know, we added different arms, we painted up the mask, we made a Jax conversion of the R3 Tech head sculpt, and I think this looks so much better. I wanted to include it just because of how badass he looks. So this is a Kane figure, the Kane ringside exclusive hardcore Kane, but again, he has bigger arms on there from the Brock Lesnar Elite, and we did customize the mask, so I wanted to include him, and he just looks super badass. Next, guys, is one that was made by Mac Decals on Instagram, and he is an absolute beast. He has made so so many great customs this year, and I'm very happy to own one of his pieces of work, which is this pink and white fantasy ricochet with the white sleeve. This is probably one of the more newer customs in the collection, but it looks so excellent. I love it to death. I think he nailed it, and since it is pink, I had to add it to the collection, and I think that this is one of my best purchases of the year is this pink ricochet, and it looks freaking immaculate. Next up, guys, we have the Punisher Jeff Hardy, and you guys know that I did make this at the beginning of the year. Jeff Hardy wore this at the Royal Rumble, and obviously at the beginning of the year, I also made this Seth Rollins Punisher attire which I found on 2K and I just decided to bring it to life just because I'm a big Punisher fan so I wanted to have a Seth Rollins and then I found that one so I said holy hell I gotta make that in a figure and boom the Seth Rollins was born and then I expanded on that. I can't remember which came first if it was Jeff Hardy or Seth Rollins but the Jeff Hardy I just had like I looked at the Marvel Legends figure and saw that you know it had the, the skull face painted onto his face so I said Brad we need to make that into a Jeff Hardy so then I uh 
pr pretty much just put the skull onto the face of Hardy and uh, added some white like streaks to his hair and then gave him some white gauges. He is in an all black attire underneath the shirt and the and the coat. And there you have it, a Jeff Hardy Punisher. And then we have the Seth Rollins with the beautiful looking vest and everything. Shout out to whoever made this on 2K and I just kind of made it my own figure. Next up guys, we do have a couple Demon Finn Balors and this one on the left is actually a fantasy attire Demon Finn Balor. It's like a Halloween slash purple freaking, I, I don't know what the hell to call it, but it is all custom painted. I did use the Elite 41 Finn Balor head sculpt, the Elite 41 Finn Balor arms, and the knee pads and kick pads. And I did that just to have this base design and then I painted over it with light metallic orange and dark orange to give it like that contrast you guys can see all around. And then I put like this eye on the back in purple. You got some wing type deals going on the back. And then uh, this torso was actually a, a top talents torso. So I hand painted all of these uh, teeth, the tongue, the details around, the eye on the back, all of this stuff on the back is all hand painted uh, by me. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that. It's not, you know, perfect by any means, but I think I do like it. You got all the details going on in the back piece of this eye coming through the back. And then you do have all the stuff on the front as well. And then you have the face paint that I face painted and that all turned out pretty good. I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. And then our other demon custom is from SummerSlam, I think. This is the SummerSlam 2018 Finn Balor where he took on Trash Corbin. He's got the tongue out. This was made by BEW as well. We obviously have an Ultimate Edition from this now, and this one is pretty much... It's still a badass custom. I just don't really... Uh, since we have it from Mattel now, it's like, ah, crap. Still a beautiful... It doesn't, it doesn't deduct any points because it's still a fantastic custom, and the work of BEW is just shining all over this figure, but it does suck that Mattel made it. So now it's like, ah, I wish I had a different demon, but it's still a perfect figure. BEW killed this. Next up, guys, we have a custom from Nick's custom toys on Instagram and he is a freaking just beast and you guys can see here this figure has nipples nipples so it has nipples on there I mean he, he hand sculpted the wrist tape he hand sculpted these shorts on here this is a Wrestlemania 35 Buddy Murphy in the Joker attire when I saw this I had to have it um, one thing I will say I actually thought about I didn't want to like ruin his work or you know like destroy his work of any kind, but I thought about putting a Finn Balor torso on it and then putting the Buddy Murphy head sculpt on it and possibly uh, putting the Mattel parts with uh, Nick's parts because he has like the sculpted knee pads and this beautiful Joker attire, so I wouldn't want to lose all that. But maybe the top half, I'm not sure. Again, I don't want to damage it. I mean, I guess I did pay for it, so it is mine. I can do whatever I want. If I wanted to throw it in the trash, I could, but I just think that would be obviously disrespectful. I'd never do that, but I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys think. Immaculate custom, by the way. I mean, my God, look at all this hand painted. This is all hand painted. This this right here is like the best work ever. You got the best kept secret logo with the Joker mouth and the freaking eyes. Just sick nasty, dude. So we do have this from Nick's Custom Toys. Next is my Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins that we are going to be getting from Mattel any day now. Whether it be the Elite 75 or the Top Talents 2020 Elite, we are going to get this from Mattel, so this custom will have to retire, but it's still beautiful, and I'm pretty happy with the way that one came out. Next, guys, we do have the White Fantasy Attire, Aleister Black, and pretty much just the Alistair Black NXT Elite, but in white. And then we have the white kick pads from Shelton Benjamin, white and gold knee pads, and then the white lower legs. And it's pretty simple, but I liked it a lot, and I wish that he would, you know, rock something like this in real life. I think that'd be sick as hell. Next is a custom made by Angel or G Natty, whichever one you want to give the credit to. I guess both of them. But Angelo made this beautiful WrestleMania 35 Rollins, and I did get this for my birthday from my wife. And you have the WrestleMania 35 designs. You got all the gold and black going down. Very simple attire, but I liked it a lot, so I wanted to get it. Won the Universal Championship from Brock Lesnar, and then, of course, we have the Beast Slayer t-shirt. Next up, guys, we do have an army of Finn Balor. Just go ahead and just bring all the Finn Balors up here. We'll knock them all out together just because. So bringing them all forward, guys, I guess we can start off with the Elimination Chamber Finn Balor from 2018. And I did make this uh, back at the beginning of the year. I ripped off like eight custom Finn Balors. I didn't want to put them all in here. I just kind of put my favorites, I do believe. But you do have the blue and black attire. You got all the hand-painted details. All of these Finn Balors were made by yours truly. We also have the Money in the Bank 2018 as well, which is like that Spider-Man gear at the Balor Club. You have the navy and the sparkles going around and the red and white on the back. I love the way this turned out. I still cannot believe I hand painted that. That is just immaculate looking. I love the way the red pops off. And then the navy silver with the BC. Just excellent stuff. And then we have a couple more Finn Balors as far as in the tights look. We have the Money in the Bank 2019 Finn Balor in the navy and gray where he got his ass kicked the whole match. You guys remember like Cian Almas was doing all kinds of crazy. Like Finn Balor took so much punishment in that match and uh, you have 
the gray paint. That's su super clean gray. Whatever gray I used is fantastic. Like, that looks Mattel made, and it sits perfectly on the navy. So I, I was really happy with the way that sat. I don't have the BC logo on there, but it's pretty much completed. And then we have the uh, SmackDown Live sort of 2019 Finn Balor with the long bearded head sculpt made by my boy Rodney, RKO 1974 on Instagram. What a beautiful looking head sculpt. Probably my favorite head sculpt in my collection with the long thick beard with the faded hair. He knew that I wanted a Finn Balor like that and we still haven't gotten it from Mattel. So hopefully we do get one, but I am the one that made the, from the neck down, he is the one responsible for the head sculpt and together I think that makes a pretty beautiful looking Finn Balor. It's like the SmackDown Live 2019 attire. And then we have my uh, working out slash street clothes Finn Balor that I made out of a Milko Mania Epic Moments Kurt Angle figure with the shorts and the training shoes and stuff and I did put a custom t-shirt on there. Simple but very effective. Moving these fins guys we do have three Kevin Owens customs and then we have a Kenny Omega and then we have a Rollins that we'll get to. But starting off with the Kevin Owens we do have three different ones. I do have some more that you guys will see later on in the year but for now we are going to show these off because I want to keep those hidden for now. We have the two different MDT Live Kevin Owens in the pink black and white. Very simple and effective. I have this one that's just Kevin Owens Live and then I made a simpler version which is just the KO and I like these a lot. They're pretty much the same figure but different t-shirts. You know how Kevin Owens always rocks different shirts so I think that totally works. He started wearing that when he got traded over to MDT Live and then we have the sort of like current up to date Owens. I know I gotta add the rest of the tattoos to the arms like he's missing all of this tattoo work on the back but I did this when he first uh, returned from injury and he had all the uh, the tattoos on his right arm with the gorilla and the panda and uh, the, the bird on the outside and then the gator on his back of his forearm there so I still have to add all the rest of the tattoos, but I still like this Kevin Owens. And then finishing off our video, guys, we do have our Royal Rumble slash 2019 Kenny Omega that uh, he wore in the MDT Royal Rumble. And I'm happy to finally retire this custom because he's been wearing it for so very long. But you do have the Elite Champion or the Elite logo from the title belt on the butt. So I thought that was a pretty nice attire. Very simple, but you do have the Omega logo on the kick pad. And I'm very happy to retire this custom finally. But uh, I, I did enjoy this one for a while. I thought the blue was a nice touch for him to wear at the Royal Rumble. And then finally rounding it off, what kind of video would it be without the Seth Streak and Rollins custom that had to be included in the best customs of 2019? I mean, excellent looking Seth Rollins figure in the Seth Streak and Rollins completely naked with the WWE title. But I think that pretty much does it for the best customs of 2019. Again, there are some missing. I want you guys to try and figure out which ones are missing. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I think personally my favorite custom of the year, if you don't count George Washington, I think I like the Luchasaurus. I think Luchasaurus is my favorite custom custom of the year or possibly the Jeff Hardy and the Punisher attire. I also love the Seth Rollins Punisher. I think that's a beautiful looking figure. As far as my own are concerned, as far as my favorite mashup, I guess you could kind of separate it into different categories. You have my favorite custom that I made, probably the Jeff Hardy. Favorite collab would probably be Luchasaurus and then my favorite custom that I got from somebody else would probably be the Pink Ricochet. I could be wrong about that. Again, just sort of spitballing here. I hope you guys did enjoy the best customs of 2019. Again, I did leave some out, and uh, I hope that 2020 is full of epic customs as well. And we actually may have to redo this video like the last couple days of the year because there's some more customs that I've actually working on slash have been done for a while that I've had to keep a secret. So I don't know, I guess we'll have to see about that. It is not too late to make your Hell's Gate predictions video, guys. If you want to make Hell's Gate predictions videos, please go ahead and do that. I've watched all of them, liked all of them, and commented on all of the ones that have been made if you know the comments have been allowed. So definitely do that if you haven't. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name, Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.